Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shamir. I would be trying to do the most. Like, why would I be starting a vlog? I always start the vlog moving around lately for some reason. Anyway, we're up. We're out early. Um, I had an appointment to go to. So I had to run and get that done. The kid is with me because the kid doesn't have school today. Why, you ask? Um, yesterday he didn't have school because it was their parent-teacher conference. Um, today he doesn't have school. Yeah, I'm going to catch them. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. So, today he doesn't have school. He doesn't have school today because the weather is apparently acting ridiculous storms moving from texas coming this way toward louisiana and stuff so there are all kinds of tornado warnings and stuff like that um my goodness to all the people in texas who have been affected by the tornadoes i am praying for you guys um and at the same time hoping that it does not get as horrible here because there were multiple tornadoes in texas so um and that storm is moving right this way so they canceled school but yeah i had an appointment to go to so i had to bring him with me and now we're getting him a smoothie right quick because we tried to go to tropical smoothie thank you for and they smoothie. weren't would you like to a new activator recovery smoothie um, no thank you. I just need to get a, a kid size strawberry smoothie. And that's it. I'm sorry, what did you say? I, I'm so sorry. Oh, a kid size strawberry smoothie. Just All right, strawberry. so that's to be a little angel, no banana, stuff, sweet strawberries, anything else for you, like yogurt in it? Uh, no thanks. All right, it'd be 414 at the window, love. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, so we were trying to go to Tropical Smoothie because, um, you know, he likes it. I like it. We like Tropical Smoothie. It's so good. Um, but they're not open, which is understandable because I'm pretty sure they didn't want their employees to get stuck out in these streets. But a lot of places, just like the doctor's office that I just went to, they are, um just closing early so uh maybe the smoothie king and stuff is just gonna close early like i mean for their employees sake i really hope so because nobody wants to be just out like that in the middle of a storm you know what i'm saying so we've been watching the weather channel i'm definitely going to watch it again when i get home just to kind of you know keep an eye on it see what's going on um and then to see if I want to go to my mom's house and hang out with them because, you know, she loves us and she always wants us over there. And we love hanging out with them as well. We love to hang out, you know, you see when the storms and stuff come, we all get together and we're going to be like, we're in this together. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Yes. How y'all doing today? All right. How you doing? Blessed. Yeah. Y'all closing early? Oh, no, indeed not. I'm really? Like, yeah. Oh, geez. So if a tornado take me away, I guess it just take me away. Oh, gee. Yeah. Well, hope not. <laughs> I hope not, too. I hope it ain't come nowhere around here. <laughs> not right? 1586. Sorry, I She said they still working. She said she gonna be in here. If the tornado take her, just take her. I hope not, okay? We're not gonna put that energy out here for these workers. Here you go. Oh, thank you. All right, yeah, thank you. Birthday. You too. All right. Here you go. So, um, yeah. <laughs> you know, so I guess some people are a little more, you know, worried than others. But pro thing, I guess she said, look, I'm gonna be here and make my money, okay? Cause if the storm don't come, I guess she just gonna make her money anyway. Um, let me move my air freshener because it likes to just pop in the way. Oh my gosh, I didn't talk to you guys again yesterday because I spent literally the whole day like nerves, bad, 
love watching the weather channel and stuff like that and luckily for well first of all i want to say my prayers and thoughts of course to anybody affected by those tornadoes okay they like not even just in louisiana i think they had some in mississippi um texas i think oklahoma even had a tornado i don't know but i know yesterday it was just kind of nerve-wracking trying to consistently watch the news to see you know if the storm was coming closer or like what time it was going to be coming closer and you know like where the worst part of the storm was i i ended up staying at home it's like a normal like storm type of rain we got so lucky though i think i want to edit the vlog from um it's just a quick little vlog from when we went to houston the other day so i was like you know what why not um <clears throat> just go to the uh coffee shop and edit and stuff but the the thing is is which one you know there's so many coffee shops that you can go to but sometimes the vibe in different ones is different so you know it just depends i want to go somewhere where it's not too crowded um but you know just nice and aesthetically pleasing for me <laughs> so i made it to get some coffee it's a little crowded um not too crowded i'm gonna still see if i can find me a seat by a plug so i can do my work have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says I just have to follow that because you don't know who you're gonna be who you're gonna be who you're gonna be hey guys so it is the next day we are out I am going to Hobby Lobby I need some like little shred gift shred stuff and um i also need what do i need oh i need a box or something um well i don't need it i just want to get it so there's that and then i'm going to meet my mom for lunch in a little while so we can you know have lunch and stuff before it's time to get kids and stuff so yeah, let's see what they have in here. There's some lamps on sale. That's a serious discount. $69 and now it's $17. Not really my thing, but it's okay. This one's kind of cute. always have so much cute stuff in Hobby Lobby that I'm just like I could put it in the office or like the kitchen area and see they get me with stuff like this too because I always feel like I need a new cup or something look how cute this is so stinking cute Now, I definitely could use some more hand cream. Look at this, sweet almond hand cream. Y'all, why? I saw on the news they had a recall on um, some lotion. What was it? The, I think it was Jergens, like ultra healing lotion. Um, I'm going to check and put it on the screen for sure for you guys. But I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So one day I was in walmart and 
I was like, hey, I need some lotion to keep, you know, in my purse or in my car, like a small one. Y'all, why I looked and I was like, that looks like the same lotion. And yes, it was. I have the lotion that was recalled. And I'm like, okay. Like, it started to make me wonder, like, oh my God, is that part of the reason why my fingers were still itching and stuff even after I stopped using that cuticle oil at the um, nail place? I don't know. Look how cute this is. This is so cute. I just love the little kitty stuff. My little guy is getting so big though that I mean yeah he likes little stuff that still looks cute but you know he's not always as excited as he used to be about some of this stuff. So I'm just like oh my god he's getting so big. Oh look little avocado stuff. How cute is that? Y'all, it makes you want to have a cookout. Look at, look at this. So cute. Oh, look at this one. It says, we belong together. That is so cute. They have some cute stuff. Let me get what I need so that I can not be late. When I meet my mom for lunch, wait, hold up now. I love the look of stuff like this. So I gotta check out this section real quick and see what they have. Ooh, look at this. Look, now see, this is a must. We having a cookout or something like that to cover up the food. Oh my gosh, this is cute. How much is this? $14.99 and 40% off. I might have to get one of these. And I bet if I don't get it now, I might not be able to find it later. Okay, I think I'm going to wait and look and see if they have any cute ones like similar to this, but not quite like this one on Amazon. Because look, it was hard to see, but there's a hole in it already. You see that? And I'm like, oh my God, it's tearing up already and it's still in the store. So I'm like, maybe I need to find one that's cute, but like a little more sturdy. So I just checked out and I'm leaving, but you guys, I asked the lady if she thinks they're ever gonna bring back that 40% uh, off coupon. Cause I used to always use it. It was like 40% off one regular price item. And I used to always use that coupon and she said she doesn't think so. So that sucks. Yeah, so I'm like, that sucks because that's what I usually use like to get an extra 40% off of like the box or the shred or something like that. Cause it's not usually ever on sale, so. Uh, yeah, and then she said, it's been a year since they had that coupon. And I'm like, has it? Like, it doesn't feel like it's been that long. So, I made it to the area where we're getting lunch. And, uh, yeah, my battery is a little low, so we'll see what we can get. All that said is done. All that's done, gone. Everybody fall down once, yeah, every love gonna fall down once. Yeah, everybody fall down once. Yeah, every love gonna fall down once. Hold it when it come. It ain't gonna stay when it drops. Okay, so yeah. We finished eating lunch uh a while ago. I actually am just gonna leave the grocery store. I had to grab a few things, so I stopped by here. I hope nobody is waiting on me so they can park. Anyway. I had to stop by here and grab a few things. Um, my mom, she actually went to a few clothing stores and stuff. So, uh, yeah, but I was like, I have to get home to do a few things and pick up the kid, of course. So, that's what I had to do. And then I'm like, the food was so good from the uh, place that we went to. Oh, look. Little old man walking behind my car. <laughs> okay, anyway. um, The food was so good, y'all. 
The only thing is, is they call themselves having a lunch menu, but I'm like, y'all do not have me food. The price is still the same on the lunch menu as the dinner menu, like for the stuff that we had. And if I'm not mistaken, it had just as much stuff on it. The only thing that's not on the lunch menu was like the drinks and stuff, like the drink menu. I'm telling you, I was like, this is the same price. And then this is the same size food. Because the last time we went there, it wasn't lunchtime. But this time it was lunch. And um, yeah, so it's like a dinner size serving. So I literally ate half of it. It might have been a little less than half. And I just got it in a to-go box, and I'm like, you got, that's too much to eat for lunch, okay? Uh, and I'm greedy, and I'm saying that's too much to eat for lunch, so that should tell you something. But, um, I was like, you know what, let me just have a little dessert. So when I was standing in line, so I can't take too long in the store, I got a Reese's, and look at it. It looks like it's about to melt already, and we haven't been in the car a good two minutes. Well, I'm looking at my phone. Two minutes and 53 seconds. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Somebody always turning behind you when you're trying to bag out. I'd be like, I know you see me bagging out. Like, I know you see me. Oh, Lord. Here go, the, here go the people walking behind my car. I know you see this car bagging out. Here goes somebody else just pulling up. Well, geez, can I get out? Okay, try again, try again. But anyway, yeah, so uh, I just wanted to check in. I like talking to y'all. So <laughs> that's why I be checking in so much. And half the time I'm having to delete half of my conversation because I will talk y'all head off, okay? Uh, so anywho, I'll catch back up with you guys in a little while. Hey y'all, it's the next day. It's Friday. Woo. Okay, um, I just pulled up. This is always in the way. Anyway, I just pulled up. I got about two minutes to spare to talk to y'all right quick, okay? Um, I'm at my son's school. They're having a little um honor roll assembly, but they're trying to do it quick this year, okay? There was like one parent come, you gonna stay just for your child's little section and go ahead. So uh yeah that's what i'm gonna do so proud of my little guy um he's a great little student okay when it comes to you know his uh his little school work he loves to learn so that's good i i i really like that he's into math and science and reading and all kinds of stuff he's super smart you know so um yeah i'm going to do that right quick and then I'll either go back home first or just meet him out and go grab some coffee. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. It's Friday. We're getting the weekend started, okay? coffee earlier and it's later what is it like almost two o'clock you guys my chicken looks really good but the fries i'm drove i mean their fries taste good but i really had a taste for cajun rice and that's what i ordered and i get home and i see the fries and i'm like no i want the cajun rice but they'll they'll do i mean they taste good but like you know when you have a taste for something you want what you have a taste for. You know what I'm saying? At least they remember my barbecue sauce this time because Popeye's barbecue sauce is really good. Like, it's got a little spice to it and stuff. And on that chicken, so good. So, yeah, I'm just about to eat my food. Um, of course, I always have it recorded. So, I'm about to watch Daily Pop. Well, I mean, I just put it, I'm going to put it lower in the background because I'm watching a vlog still. So, yeah, I'm just going to chill and eat my food. I have a little while 
And so I have to go get in the line to pick up the little one from school. And yeah, that's it. I don't know what I want to do today. But like, it's so nice outside. Like I want to do something, but I don't know what. So, okay, you guys. So I picked up the kid. We were just having a discussion. He's so funny. I told him I need to get him back in some swimming lessons because he's had swimming lessons before. And I was telling him that his dad uh, was thinking about putting him in like some private lessons this time. <laughs> he's so funny. <laughs> Look, I, what you saying? I, it feels more luxury than public swimming lessons. I have private stuff. Like private schools or like private lessons for something. It, it feels like he worried about feeling like luxury for his swimming lessons we want him to have private swimming lessons nothing to do with luxury because we want him to uh be able to you know have some one-on-one -on -one with the instructor because sometimes when they're in a group you know it takes a little longer to learn certain stuff and catch on so it's just a matter of timing and he is like we were talking about luxury that's so funny to me but um i hope this isn't being loud because the last few times i've been vlogging and i put my uh phone right here that's probably the sign for me to stop acting like i've been acting and use the camera instead of my phone but anyway uh, the last few times I've been vlogging, I put my phone right here. I'll have parts of my conversation that I have to cut out and then I'm mad because it's like making a noise. And I don't know if it starts to hit like um, my screen that it's sitting up against or what. But like that's aggravating because I'm tired of cutting out stuff in my vlogs. But anyway, I thought that was funny. But he definitely needs some more swimming lessons because he didn't... S he swam like a few times... But not that much, you know, throughout the whole pandemic stuff because we were like inside. And before all of that, we had him in swimming lessons and he had got to where he was like just jumping off the edge and swimming across and doing all that. But now he has to warm back up to it. So I'm going to look into putting him in some lessons. And I honestly am looking into taking some swimming lessons myself because... Like I was telling my husband, it's like, I know how to swim, but I mainly swim like underwater. And I feel like I pretty much know how to swim to not drown. But I want to be able to do like a lot more. And I'm not comfortable. That's the thing too. That's why I was thinking that I need to do some more lessons too. Because I'm not comfortable going in any water that I can't stand up in. So it's like I'll swim around and play around in five feet, five feet, I mean, but that's about it because you girl, I'm short, okay? I'm only 5'1". So we're not playing around in six feet of water or none of that. So um, yeah, I'm probably going to sign myself up for some lessons too. Just saying. We can all use a little practice, a little extra work, something. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we're talking about swimming because it's such a nice day. So, me and the little guy are at Home Depot getting some stuff for the yard. I need some spray paint and we need to get, uh, I just want to look at other little like patio furniture sets and stuff. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. And I honestly want to find a little thing to do like a little garden situation in. But, I don't know. We'll see. I might not do that today. But I know I need spray paint and stuff. And I just wanted to come look by the flowers. I'll probably just get some mulch for sure. But yeah, we're just going to look around and see what we can find. So, I'm thinking to paint the chairs. Ew, all this bird poop. Like a tan color like this. Okay, see these chairs. We have two chairs outside like this. But mine are like wooden these are like plastic ones but mine are wooden and they are so tore up right now so we need to find some spray paint or something to paint them they used to be this reddish color i don't know what happened i don't know if we just used the wrong spray paint or what but yeah i'm thinking of going more of a tan color
okay? <sighs> I thrive when it's sunny and it's spring and it's just nice outside. That's like when I feel the best. <laughs> I like these chairs, but I mean, I feel like for a three piece set, $9.99, that's kind of like, I would definitely change these pillows, not those, not those. This way. Okay, so I'm thinking that I want to paint the chair tan, right? That's what I was saying. But I like the look of the black and tan, like chairs and stuff. So I was wondering like maybe if I paint the chair black and then just put a tan cushion in it, I was wondering if that'll work. But I don't know if these type of cushions, not necessarily this one, which this one doesn't look bad, but just I'm just trying it out for the size. I don't know if this size cushion fits in that type of chair. So what I'm gonna do is bring this cushion back outside and put it in that plastic chair that's made like the one that I have. You know, even though mine is wooden, it might be a little bit bigger, but I'm just gonna kind of see if it can fit. Can I bring this out here? I think I can. Yeah, okay. Lord, I didn't want the thing going off now. I'm like, look, I'm not trying to take it. I'm just bringing it to a chair. Yeah, you can hold it, little guy. So we're gonna see. Look, you gotta hold it with two hands or something. So we're gonna see if it'll fit. Watch this, can you fit? Yeah. Okay, now let's see. So the chair, y'all, so many birds are out here. The chairs are full of birds. I'm gonna have to move one. So, here, let me sit y'all somewhere <laughs> so that I can move the chair get one okay I don't want this to fall there we go good enough okay not the first one too. yep not this one either this one is broken yeah look at it like something took a that bite out of it that one's broken too oh my god what happened this one broken too and that one is full of bird poop. It's full of bird poop. Jeez, the birds is just really tearing it up out here. Okay. All right, this one in that, in that bag. So let me see. I'm gonna put it in there real quick because I don't want dirty up these super stuff. Is that this one that you can It should fit on ours. It kind of fit, but it look weird. It look kind of, it look kind of stupid. Okay, so see, it just doesn't fit right, and like, there's like too much room at the top, so that'll just look kind of crazy. So that's enough. So I like this color. So this is the one we're gonna go with. tree winter all that other stuff so i need to clean it off and then here are the chairs let me walk this way so y'all can see these are the chairs that i'm gonna paint y'all like all the paint and stuff is just fading on the chair this one this is the other chair so now i'm hoping that it'll spray and cover up all of that redness because I'm not about to scrape this off or sand it off or anything like that. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do. So, I have a whole lot of yarn, okay? So, I'm going to lay this stuff out and get to spraying. But, I'm going to do the table first. I probably need to spray paint this because it looks a mess. It's just, you know, being outside in the weather. So, let's get to cleaning. Oh, and I don't think... I don't think I showed you guys at the store the cleaner that I bought. So I bought this one. It says, what is this, Zep? Fast 505 degreaser and cleaner. Um, it said that it was for like, um, see here it says like, use on tools, workspace, grills and all that and hard surfaces and stuff. So I'm thinking that'll do the trick. And then I got these uh, heavy duty uh, sponges. So yeah, I'm gonna see if that will go 
I don't feel like trying to stretch either one of the water hoses way out here in the backyard. So I just put some water in this jug and I'm gonna just do it as I go. Yeah, let's get the cleaning. gonna work great because once I wipe it, like scrub it a few times let me pour a little bit of water in see oh yeah as you can see like that's gonna definitely clean it off yeah it's gonna be all white again yay y'all look at what I had to do I bought some plastic to set the chairs on so that when I spray them, it wouldn't get all over the grass. But the wind is blowing so much, I just grabbed some little sticks out the yard that I had in a pile. Uh, Cause we pick them up before cutting grass and stuff. And look, I put them on all the little corners to hold it down so I can spray paint. But yeah, this has been whooping me this plastic with this wind blowing. Anyway, let me get started. This is the before. Let's hold it here for the before. The kid's helping me first. He wanted to help me some, so I let him do the first round. So I made him put on his little mask and stuff. And he's not doing too much because of course we don't want him with all the fumes, okay? Okay, so here's an update. This is what it's looking like so far. I really like it. I think it's going to come out cute, but I completely underestimated how much spray paint I would need for this. The whole two things of spray paint have done this so far, and I still feel like once it dries up, it's going to need another coat. So I think I'm going to go buy at least four more things of spray paint. You see, I couldn't even get to that one. So yeah, this is what it's looking like so far, but I mean, you can see the difference between the two of them right here. I think this color is going to look good once I get everything together, you know? I'm low key getting tired though. That was working me. First of all, okay, let's let's talk about this. So I watched so many people do all these DIY projects and spray paint stuff and do all this other stuff. You guys, spraying that one chair, wearing my finger out, okay? I see why I saw this thing at the store for you to put on the top of the spray paint thing. I might need to spend them $7 because this is working my little arms and my fingers, okay? Like, spray painting this is wearing me out, so. Anyway, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just go back to Home Depot now. <sighs> kind of tired, I don't feel like it, and I've been sweating and stuff, but like, who cares? That's, we, I, I will go to Home Depot like that, like nowhere else, but anyway. So now that I've been spraying the chairs and the table and stuff, it's so nice outside. I'm like, do I want some crabs or like some crawfish or something? Because this is turning out to be a nice afternoon. The wind is blowing, and I probably could use either some crab or some crawfish in my margarita okay but you know what i didn't get my daiquiri last time do i want the daiquiri i don't know i already have the margarita mix i have the strawberry and lime margarita mix you know like the ready to drink one so really i could just save money i could just pour that on some ice made it back home and y'all i'm tired Whew. i'm like this is some serious exercise doing all this today but um yeah i'm just gonna go back y'all here and get to spraying again but i'm gonna try and make it quick because i am starting to get so so hungry so yeah time to get back to it so i'm inside now i finished spraying the chairs i'm so tired i'm not leaving my house i don't feel like it so i'm not getting crab i was like you know what what do i have in here I have some shrimp and some uh, heavy whipping cream and stuff. So I'm gonna make up, um, I might do the noodles with it, like the spaghetti noodles with the shrimp. But yeah, so I'm gonna make some shrimp and I have some tilapia in the freezer. So I'm gonna uh, do some, so I'm gonna make some tilapia in the air fryer. The child's playing the game and he's loud, of course. So anyway, um, KJ, 
Stop talking so loud. So yeah, so I'm going to cook some shrimp and some tilapia in the air fryer. And just whip up something at home because your girl does not feel like going back out anywhere. I'm tired. It was hot. And I thought about it and I was like, even if I do go get my crab or crawfish right now, um, the sun is still out, but it's, you know, it's getting closer to the evening so the sun will be setting soon but this is the time when the mosquitoes just come out and I, I don't have time for it so yeah let me whip up something for dinner and then I'll show it to you guys So here's what my food's looking like. I love this in the air fryer just a little bit too long. And I had just a little too much season on top of it. But it should still be good. Uh, I got my shrimp with my little cream sauce. And um, I ended up having to do fettuccine noodles. Let me get my nail out the way because it is not done. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to have my little drink. I put some ice and some strawberries. Frozen strawberries. And this is the uh, already ready to drink margarita mix that i'm using today strawberry and lime the jose cuervo so yeah you guys so i finished eating all of my food having my little margarita now um it's been a long week okay it's been a long day it's been a long week um hopefully i got enough footage for you guys but anyway if you haven't already subscribed please hit that subscribe button uh, turn on your notifications so that you don't miss when i upload another video it'll help you grow out help the channel grow you know let's be friends okay but anyway um your girl is tired so I'm about to end the vlog here. I'll see you guys next time. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.